God or your essential nature is not something, not content, not form. The best description through words is to say not what it is not. And then you are left with what it is which cannot be named but can be known, but cannot be known conceptually because every concept is again a name and a form. It can be known simply, easily, in the silent space of stillness, which is in everyone, underneath the mental noise, no matter how heavy and turbulent the mental, emotional noise may be, no matter how heavy the egoic sense of self is, in everyone as the essential nature is the stillness of pure consciousness, your essential nature, the essence, your essence, not separate from the essence of the universe. Are these just words? Yes, the words point to that. They cannot encapsulate that. They cannot explain, not even attempt to explain. If a question arises in you that says, Please explain a bit more, I don't quite get it yet. It is not possible to, these are pointers. The analysis of pointers is pointless. <laughs> but the, the mind wants to have content, so it will ask questions about the pointers, instead of allowing the pointers to point. It wants to analyze the pointer, the signpost. Let's look at this signpost. Let's examine it. Let's get out the microscope. So, what I'm saying, the mind cannot get. Allow the statement to work in you as a pointer, not as an explanation of the universe, because there can be none. But it can work, those, like those beautiful words of the Upanishads, or whatever words arise here, pointing to the dimension of the formless one life that is you. So what really it is pointing to, all these words point to is that dimension of stillness within, that is vibrant with life but still, extremely awake but still, underneath thoughts, in between thoughts, in between words, is the canvas on which the whole phenomenal existence is painted.